Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we are in the dirt UMP modified here at Volusia I'm running this because I'm trying to get like ready for the big blocks that are coming out next week we were six fastest in this practice this is the fastest I've ran so far because we had a really clean track coming in and I was the first one out there so let's see if we can keep up that speed I believe I can still run like a 17-0 because the track fell off just slightly but I was still able to run like 17 zeros consistently so I'm hoping to run right around that but I'm super excited for the big blocks that are coming out next week. I just like new content. We've had these UMPs out for a long time, but it's always a fixed race. Or it's always an open race. I mean, I wish there was a fixed race. I'm way too sideways in that corner. I'm hoping one of the two big blocks that come out are fixed racing. That would be a lot of fun. Because I'm not great at making a setup. What are we running? 17108? That's not great. Bottom is definitely good around this track right now. It's a lot of throttle control in these cars. That's mainly what you have to do in these. 172, damn. I did not get faster in the second lap. That was a that was a struggle for sure. So we're gonna have to work our way up in these heat races. And everybody's done qualifying, so that is great get a move straight on into these heat races we are starting in sixth in the first heat so we qualify at 11th not great hopefully we can gain some spots these people are super fast i don't have a qualifying and a feature setup like i do in the pro late models i just have one setup so if you guys like to use this go right ahead i mainly made this just for the feature because i don't have i didn't have time to try to make a qualifying and heat setup i basically i know i would drop the fuel and probably tighten up the car or loosen the car a little bit more because it would be tighter with the less fuel it won't be as much weight in the back but i'm just using this because i don't have a qualifying setup so i'm happy with my feature setup for sure and i can run decent in it like throughout whatever type of track condition there is i don't run these ump modifieds often just because they're open setups and i don't have many setups for the ones i've ran I only have like five, maybe six when I used to run these a decent amount on like the tracks I liked more. And this was one of the tracks I liked more. So I had a setup for this already. So I didn't have to do too much work on it. I kind of just ran with it with what I had a long time ago and it worked pretty well. You just have to manage your throttle on the corners. That's the main thing. So hopefully these guys are, maybe these guys are actually running a qualifying and heat setup and that's why they are much faster. I don't know. Could be. Because setups do mean a lot. So let's get rolling. Eight laps, quick heat race. Hopefully we can gain a couple spots. That'd be amazing. Just get the feeling of racing around these guys. So I don't race around the UMP guys much. Or in the UMPs as much. But the big blocks coming out next week are going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully at least. I wanted to at least try to get the feel of them. I don't know if they're going to react the same way as these. But these are probably the closest things that we got to them at the moment. Because I know the last time I ran the UMPs was right when Weed Sport came out. I think it was the last week 13, so about like 12, 13 weeks ago, like three months ago, when Weed Sport came out because there was fixed UMP racing there, and that was a lot of fun. I wish they would make these fixed because setups make things so skewed if people know how to make a good setup. And I am not one of them. All right, man. It's the same reason why I wish the pro late models had a fixed setup because trying to make setups in those is tough some people are probably very good at it and I'm just not one of them I don't have time to sit down and try to learn what every single thing does to the car so I do my best with what I know I mainly mess with like the rear stagger some of the axles and the fuel and gear ratio for the most part and then the J bars like the chassis bars those are like the main things I know how to mess with. Other than that, the heights and stuff on the cars, don't know what to do with those. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. Had a decent start here. Your back end will kick out and hit that wall going into one a bunch. Really annoying. I don't know why my car just kicked straight to the left when I like let off going into one. It was very weird. But Volusia is a lot of fun because you can keep your momentum up on that high side or you can run the bottom. 
when it gets worn out or if it's pretty new, you can kind of keep momentum. I went way too high there because my back end smacked the wall. If your back end smacks the wall going into a corner, it's going to mess up your, your entire corner. Mainly your entrance, but it's just going to slow you down for the rest of it too. Had a good run coming off the corner, but I didn't want to run into the back of him. Ooh, he slid up a lot. But definitely feel a little faster than this six car. But I'm trying not to run him over at the same time. The first place guy's gone. First place is gone. Everybody else is pretty close. Don't slide up like that. I'm trying to take that outside lane, but these back ends are just so long. People slide up the track so much. I'm trying not to hit them. I don't think we made contact. They didn't say we did, so. Like, I need to go way wide if I'm going to try to get by on the outside. But when I do that, I lose so much time through the corner. But it's just so much flatter up top. There's a good, like, banking on the lower and medium sides of this track, but then the very top, it gets flat. I feel like I have a pretty good entrance and middle of the corner. It's my exit that's really sucking right now. I'm not straightening the car out enough. Only got a couple laps left. Started six. We might get six back here at the end. It'll be close. Ooh, he straightened out and did something really weird there. That fucked my whole corner up because I thought I was going to smack him. Let's see if we can get by him here in this last corner. That was close. Hey, we got him. <laughs> okay, then. That was unnecessary. Yeah, you're fine. That was him. Yeah, that's fine. Because we were all just checking up going into turn one. How close was this at the end? Because I just, like, gassed it and was able to stay right on his outside. How close? Right there. I got him by like a nose. How fucking close was that? Oh yeah. Two, what was that? Hundreds of a second? Yeah. No. Thousands? No. Hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. Tens, hundreds, thousands. Yeah, that's what it is. That was fucking close. That was a good race. That was a lot of fun. These UMPs are a lot of fun to race, but we will be starting 11th in the feature just like we qualified now instead of 13th. So at least we're starting to row higher. We'll be on the bottom side, which isn't that bad of a deal for us. I kind of like the bottom, but I started on the outside. I kind of just stuck at the outside. But I feel like that was the only place I was going to make up any time. Because everybody was running the bottom. Well, at least the guy right in front of me was, so. I'm not worried about that 2x, though, in the heat race. I, I have plenty of safety. I'm not, like, trying to gain safety or anything like that. Because I got plenty of it. We will see how these guys race. There's only, what? There was... Seven in mine. There should be seven here, but I think somebody left, so there might There's only five, six. There's six here, it looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Should be a good race though. Cause I think one person left the race while we were gridding up for the first heat, which is really weird, but it is what it is. So really there's only thirteen left in this race. But let me know, what are you guys uh, thinking about the big blocks coming out? What are you guys going to run first, the 358s or the actual big blocks? Green flag, green flag. Number one car goes real early as soon as the truck moves. He runs like that middle lane. He's able to keep his car very straight. Nine kept a really good run off the bottom. This will be an interesting battle for first. Because he was able to hook that bottom in one and two really well. It looks like he's straightening up earlier than the one, which could be good for him. But the one might just have a better setup. This nine got two sideways there. Good run off the corner, though. I don't think anybody's going to catch the one, to be honest. I'm going to go back to third place and see, because we can still see second and first. Nine throws it in real deep. Does not going to quite make anything out of it, though. Just slides up. Because that one car is just kind of running in the middle lane. You can't really get under them. It's going to be hard to get around them on the outside as well. That's going to be the line that gets really worn out going into this feature race. There's no consolation race at all, which is good. Because it's not going to tear out the track even more. 
So we'll have a pretty clean track overall going into this feature race. But this is the closest battle on track because fifth place really far back. I don't see anybody near fifth place either when he comes in the screen. 14 is getting a good run on the bottom. I can't tell. Is that the 13? He throws a slider. That was super close. He could have easily gotten hooked. I must say, that's, oh, is that the 13? Yeah, that's the 13. Okay. He had a good crossover there. It's hard to see because he has like two numbers on top of each other. He had a really bad turn one, though. The 14 got back under him. Is 14 going to throw a slider back? No, but the 13 just overdrives so hard. He went way up there. There is no recovering from that. He's going to fall all the way back to fifth. Doesn't really look like there's going to be any other battles on track, but we're going into the last lap. So this is turn four, and then it's going to be lap number eight. Everyone's pretty spread out in this one. My heat, there were people real close to each other from like second on back. Everyone was like right on top of each other. Except right at the end, uh, sixth and seventh, which is me and the other guy, fell back just a hair, but we were battling for the last spot. <laughs> Alright, the one car wins it. Nine car, 14. 13 fell off there towards the end. Oh, he just like, he parked it after that. He was done. So he fell all the way back to sixth. Sucks for him. Eight car ends up finishing fifth. We're going into the heat race now. 30 laps. There are cautions. Starting in 11th. All right, man. Line up on the inside row. Pit road is closed. Hopefully, we can do pretty well. I'm pretty sure this is a... Uh, I want to say this is a B-class car. I'm not sure if the UMP modifieds are B-class. But it'll be interesting to see what they put the 358s and the big blocks at. I assume it would be like a C and a B. Throw the 358s in the C and then the big blocks in with the Bs along with these UMP modifieds. They might throw the big blocks in at A, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I'd, I'd be surprised if they did that. They really don't have many A racing dirt like series. They got the super light models and the 410s, and I think that's it for the most part. Because the limited light models are a D. Is anything else a D? The 305s on the sprint side, and then the 360s, pros, and street stocks are a C. I don't know about the uh, USAC and midgets and stuff yeah. like that. I don't know exactly what Your, classes uh, they are. Your side quarter sponsor is upside down, my man. That's driving me nuts. <laughs> His paint scheme. Yeah, the, like the logo. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I never noticed it, and then I like kind of get looking at him, like, "Oh my god." <laughs> I started next to you in that second heat there, and I'm like, "Oh my god, dude, that's driving me insane." All right, hopefully we can have a pretty clean race that's like we did fine. in the heat races. That'd be a lot of fun. Go 30 laps straight like we did in the, the street stocks at First Knoxville. Race. That race was a blast. If you guys I haven't seen that? See me, that was the last. Six. Hang on. That was the last race I just did, the street stocks at Knoxville. That was a blast of a race. All right, man, we're going we we green went green, green the checkered without any cautions in between, and everybody was like pretty much right on top of each other the entire time. And one car went from the very back to the front running the bottom. He was flying. But we had a great race. Three wide, some points for the lead. A lot of fun. So go check that out. But let's get into this race. Hopefully we can go green wire to wire. That'd be a lot of fun. I highly doubt it though, but we'll see. I used to have seven gallons of fuel in this and I had to move it up to eight because I would run out of fuel on like the lap 29 or something. And then with the cautions coming in, they're used to, I think I ran seven gallons because the caution laps used to not count. Now the caution laps don't count. The caution laps used to count. And now I would have to use a little bit more fuel so we didn't run out of fuel. Don't really know where to run right now. Guess we're gonna be running the bottom. Bottom's still got some grip if you run it right though. That middle lane does seem faster though by far. Well, I ended up getting by that guy right there, so that's good news. We can just kind of move up. He went way wide. I guess not to run into the back of me. 
But I had plenty of room to get up, so. Let's see if we can rip this outside lane. Looks like first place might have messed up a little bit, went too high. They're battling side by side for the lead. They were by far the fastest in both their heats. Five cars just going way too wide on his entrance, it looks like. He might be smacking the wall some. I can't really pay that much attention to them. Got to pay attention to the cars around me. A couple guys starting to go low here. Might be able to squeeze on the outside. Had to let off the gas to straighten up, though. Dang it. I went way too wide there. Oh. Guy hit the inside barrier. Who was that? I don't know what car number is that. Three? He fucked up, hit the inside barrier, checked the four up, checked me up so I didn't run into them. That got sketchy real quick. The six car just taking advantage going on the inside of everybody. He's actually making it work real well. I hit the fucking wall. I do that so much here at Volusia in like any car. My back end hits that wall going into one. That will slow you down a whole lot. See if we can run this bottom. Try to make up some time. I felt like I was doing fine on the outside, but that six car is making this bottom work. Try to see if I can find anything on there. Don't think I'm any quicker down there right now, so I need to stop losing all my time. We're back to 10. My eyes are starting to burn me right now. <laughs> Trying to concentrate so hard on these cars. These cars do take like so much concentration, especially because I'm not used to them. There's a lot of throttle control to be involved in these. I just don't think I have this set up to keep up with these guys at the moment, or I'm just not running the right line. I'm really hoping uh, the big blocks got some fixed racing in them. That would be a lot of fun. I like fixed racing so much more. That's, that's pretty much why I don't run like the midgets or USAC races, because everything, everything else is like open setups. I know the 410s, I think the 410s have a fixed race, and the 305s I know have a fixed race for sure. But I'm really awful at sprint cars. I've, I ran the 305s at Weed Sport once, and I didn't do that bad. I was actually pretty happy with how I did. That was a lot of fun. I might run the 305s a little bit more, but other than that, I don't know if I'll run any other sprint cars in the future, anytime soon at least. Just because I'm so bad at sprint cars, I'm so used to how long the late models are in the back end, and I stay too far off the wall when I run the sprints. If, because you need to stay like right up on the wall in the cushion, and I'm just so used to going a little lower on the front end because the late models like kick out so much. Same with the UMPs. The UMPs are like the closest thing to the late models on dirt. So I'm interested in these big blocks that are coming out too, because I already kind of run something like that, where I'm used to the back end. You just gotta get used to the horsepower and stuff that's under those cars. But so far, so good, like as a clean race, I should say. First and second are absolutely gone. You can see them in three and four, like way ahead of us. A lot of us are pretty close up here. Other than the mishap of the three smacking that inside barrier and checking some people up, everyone's pretty close. I'm surprised by that. I think if he wouldn't have uh, hit that inside barrier, I didn't really see what happened. I don't know if he got pinched down or he just straightened out early, messed up, or what. I'll have to go back and see that, because that's been like the only thing that's happened this race. I'm a little bit quicker than this four right now, I feel like. Don't come up. Why? 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 That's gonna be a caution. Oh, that's good. It got some wheel damage. That's so dumb. Oh, we have to let the pace car by. I need to let the eight car by. Like, I was getting by him clean. I was getting by the four car clean. Wish it would have gone green the whole way. The four car just started sliding up. I'm hoping I give you enough room. At least we didn't get stuck a lap down. That's the main thing right now. But 
Right we'll see what happens these back. last like 10 laps or so. Bottom of three and four just doesn't seem to be there. No, the bottom's not really there much at all right now. I just can't get past you because you're running the line I want to be on. That's just frustrating because I saw the four car coming up and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm stuck between him and the wall and I'm right Don't on worry. the wall. I'm about to run out of gas. <laughs> I got uh, 3.6 left. I should be fine. That's why I upped it to eight gallons. I don't know if this is single or double file restarts because there's 19 out of 30 laps. I know the last 10 laps that's single file, but I'm not sure if the UMPs in general have a single file like the street stocks do. Because a lot of things have double file and a couple things have du uh, single file. It's very weird. I get confused on when I go from series to series on which one's which. I just, I remember that the street stocks are single file and I think everything else is double into the last 10 laps. All right, so this one's double as well. On the inside, which isn't great by any means. Eight car, what are you doing? Eight car, it's telling me to stay behind the four on the inside, so I don't know what you want. Probably tell him to stay on the outside behind the 13, and he's not paying attention. It said I had, my spotter said I had wheel damage, but all right, the H just already way back there, so. Oh, 13 went way wide, don't run into him. He went way too wide. I might have to run the bottom to try to get by him. Don't hit that inside wall. That will straighten me up and send me right up the track. I like the bottom three and four a lot more than one and two. Don't know why. I just don't hit that inside wall as much in three and four. You really gotta wait on the throttle in one and two as well. It'll be interesting to see if people actually run out of gas. Like, they make their setup to where they barely have gas to make it, but if there's a caution, they don't make it. That will be interesting to see if that happens. I don't want to go outside because I feel like I'm just going to run the guy over. Okay, he had a good run off of three and four. That guy cut off the four really bad. I'm still annoyed with the four. He didn't say shit after that. Like, he completely just ran me up the track and wrecked us both. It was so stupid. My car really doesn't feel damaged compared to, like, what it was before the wreck. My spotter said wheel damage, though, but we didn't have any required damage, so I'm just running it out. Even if I had required damage, I might have just ran it out because on dirt, it really doesn't affect you as much unless you're really having to turn one way or the other going down a straightaway. Yep. Get in, get in the fours way, please. <laughs> underneath me, underneath me, underneath me. Underneath me, underneath me. Thank you, thank you. He really ran out of gas early as hell. I'm running out of gas. Oh, the one car's running out too? Rip. Hell, we might get a top 10 out of this all, all together. <laughs> Gain a couple spots here at the end. People running out of gas, I'll take it. You gotta make your setup the right way with enough fuel. Cause this track wears out where you have to go pretty high to keep up your momentum and you're in the throttle a lot. Yep, there's the one car out of gas. You messed up by going low cause he's out of gas. I might get a good run on the 12 here. Nope, I, did, I was too sideways. So that's another spot at least. That's crazy, because the one car was super fast. This 14 wasn't wasn't slow either. He was ahead of me. I will take it. I will take it. Ooh, don't smack the wall. I thought I was going to smack the wall there. See, it still says I have five laps of fuel, so I'm completely fine. Ooh, can I get him this last corner like I did in the heat race to the six, I think it was? That would be great. Get him. 
Side by side at the finish again. We got ninth. Unfortunate, but that was annoying. Yeah, guys, thanks. Very nice. Very nice race. It was a solid race overall besides the four car coming up and wrecking us, but... Didn't mean to get a 2x out of that, but... Let's go back. I was a two car. Where was that wreck at? Good win, James. Good running with you, bud. That was fun. Where was it at? Because we were running solid as hell. Thank you. Yeah, you too, man. That's not very often. You get I just want to see what happened here. Because I got to his outside, and he just went all the way up the track. Don't know what the reason of it was, because I was passing him clean. I never hit him. Because I'm just straightening out off the corner, and he straightened out real early and started coming up the track. I was just straightening out, going to the wall. He straightened out super early and started coming up early, so that's annoying. I'm happy we actually didn't get wheel damage because we our front end did get completely smushed there. But we might have had some uh, damage after that. I want to kind of see. Was the front end kind of close after that? I want to see. Yeah, the front end was like close because a lap before that, a lot before that, it was spread out more. So yeah, our turning radius was messed up a little bit after that, but it is what it is. We had a pretty solid race overall. Came back, finished ninth because a couple people ran out of gas. I'll take it. We're definitely going to lose a decent amount of I rating here, which sucks, but it was fun. Hopefully the big blocks have a fixed setup. I would really enjoy that because I'm not great at making setups. And these, these cars are just fun to race in in general. Oh wait, what did happen to that three car? I just remembered that. He finished second out of that? Holy shit. He was flying that la after that last restart. Where did he like completely mess up? Was it right here? I want to see what happened to him. Because he like either smacked the barrels or something happened. It checked us up really bad in the back. Oh, he got hit by the seven. And he like hit the inside wall. That's what happened. Okay. He got hit by the seven and that got him completely sideways. And he was just slow trying not to run into the wall there. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. That makes more sense to me. I thought he almost hit that bear, uh, barrel or something. Like, he straightened out super early. But, damn, he finished second. And that last restart, he was probably in sixth or so. And only the one ran out of gas, which really sucks for the one. He was leading most of the time. But let's go see how much I ran. We end up losing out of this because we finished ninth, car number two. Probably going to lose about like 40 or so, which is what we gained back in that the last race, I think, in the street stocks. So it is what it is. Let's go see what we got. All right. Results are in. Started what? We started 11th, finished 9th, uh, lost 52. That sucks. So we're back down to the middle of 3,800s. We got one more race left in this season, and then we got the week 13 stuff. So next i'll be running the what was it the world of outlaws super late models i don't remember exactly where they're at i think they're at volusia as well and i really like this track in the late models so hopefully we can do pretty well uh the one car led just about every lap until we ran out of fuel which sucks a lot for him he lost a ton of i rating number two number nine ended up winning it good for him he was fast and where was the five because the five was yeah the five was there and he won our heat. He started on the pole. He led a few laps and then got passed by the one for the most part. So hopefully we can do better the next time. I'm ready for these big blocks to come out. Some new stuff. I'm super excited about that. And just some new stuff coming out. That and Cedar Lake. Cedar Lake will be interesting to see how all the cars run there. I don't really know the track at all. So it will be a learning experience for me. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more racing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.